Trump plans to turn himself in for arraignment Tuesday, uh, reports the Washington Post. I mean, that's basically it. They say um, uh, former President Trump plans to fly uh, from Florida to New York on Monday before appearing in a specially secured Manhattan courthouse to be arraigned on still unspecified criminal charges. People briefed on the arraignment said Trump is not going to hole up in Mar-a-Lago. His lawyer, Joe Takapina, said Friday, a day after news of the Manhattan grand jury's indictment broke. So I guess I guess the question here is, how do they even do this? Like, he's going to have to be released on bail uh, on his own recognizance. They're not going to put him in jail. What, what, what is Secret Service going to go in jail with him? Well, it's going to be it's never happened in the history of our country. In our 250 years as a republic, this has never happened before. But from my understanding, Secret Service is taking lead on uh, this process. So they've been working with uh, the NYPD. Uh, and so on Tuesday, he's going to be arraigned. And uh, I don't know what that's going to look like, but uh, it's it's terrible that this is happen- happening in our country. This is third world crap. This is a banana republic now. Um, but I got to say, that, they're going to regret that putting that guy on a mugshot. Can you imagine the T-shirts that are going to oh, come I mean, from that? W- one of the stories we'll get to later is um, how Joe Biden's going to spend the rest of his days with Hunter behind bars because they set the precedent. But you've also got that Mackey guy who made a meme in 2016. He just got c- convicted formally by, uh, uh, I think it was a jury, right? Yeah. And there's a woman who did the same thing he did, and she got no charges. And what he so, did was he made a meme that said, text, instead of going to vote, text your vote to this number, which was a false thing. And so they're like, hey, you can't mislead people. And they couldn't people. find a single victim. And then, but the girl did the exact same thing. Hey, instead of voting for Trump, and don't wait in long lines, text this number with your vote. And, 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 it's and like, text her totally. She didn't post a number though, but she did say tex, text voting is legitimate. So I'm saying we're already in it. We are absolutely in it. 100%. And, you know, on January 6th, all the people that brought a Trump flag to the Capitol and peacefully protested. They're spending years and years behind bars. But uh, just a couple of days ago, transurrectionists stormed state capitals across the country, and uh, they're never going to see a day in jail. And, and so, not, o- not only that, but they attacked cops. There's videos of them pushing and fighting with cops. And there was a shaman. Uh, although there I was think a there, was a, there, there was a shaman. I, I'll back those guys, those guys up on the rights. I'm saying guys for men and women and everybody. Everybody's guys, in my opinion. That's how I talk. But like, it, it didn't seem violent. I wouldn't call it violent. When the politicians came into the, this is in Tennessee, the one I saw, uh, the cops grabbed people to move them out of the way. There was a little pushing and pulling. I didn't see any blood. I didn't see anyone striking anyone. So well, I, I support your right to protest. I didn't see any police throwing flashbags into the crowds or tear gassing these innocent it's, protesters. It's, it's, it's not know? just about that. It's about the protesters were holding up seven fingers as a protest sign, which signifies that the perpetrator of the mass shooting was a victim. That like you are in a cold civil war. And I don't even know if it's fair to call it cold because the power of the federal government is being wielded to beat people on the right into submission. It is it is the weight of of executive authority crushing down on people. So. I don't think it's I don't think it's fair to call it cold. I think we have seen physical confrontations. We have seen death. We saw the far left try to to burn down the White House, burn down St. John's Church. And we saw even with January 6th, the fighting on one side, like the conflict is hot. It's happening. It's just not like people are people are so uh, ignorant to history of the world. They expect there to be a formal declaration by Virginia. We hereby declare, we are declaring civil war. And then for New York to be like, we are mobilizing our troops to fight you. And then they march down the street towards each other. What do they think war is? I don't know. Well, it, I, I think it, Jack some Jack Posobiec summed this week up pretty pretty well. He said this week they indicted their top political opponent, convicted a descendant, and one of their nuts shot up a school full of Christian children. And that's just one week. 